When you go looking at the beach, it's a store that's open every day that with different things. Some of the things that don't move very much are still gonna be there, but you're always getting new stuff. And then there are pieces that will trick you because they're really pretty, but they're too heavy to bring home. But you don't really go there looking for anything in particular. You just go to the beach because you're going to the beach and I always think of it as sort of, I'm a lucky guy, I get to go down to the beach, you know? But I am shopping. Driftwood, its name is Driftwood, it comes and it goes. And so if you, a day that you don't go to the beach, you probably have missed something that you might have wanted. So I'm looking for a piece of wood that's in, in good condition, that, that I could actually manipulate and maybe turn into something. Uh, I'm also looking for certain uh, wood grains, patterns on the outside, textures, uh, and shapes if they have funny, you know, funny quirky angles. And it, most of the drift when I pick up, I, I turn into something that I sell. And so I'm, I'm uh, looking for something that someone's gonna say, oh, that's really cool, and I want that. It's a process of learning to trust the muscle memory that you have and, and letting the, the creative force just take over and not think about it. My name is uh, Jim Shabbat. I've been at the market since 1977 when I was a much younger fellow. And when I first came to the market, it was really great because I love doing arts and crafts or working with my hands, however you want to put it. And I have a lot of customers that come back all the time, year after year, in different parts of the country. I have my own fan base right here in town and my own collectors, and I just have fun, you know. It's like my wife, Jackie, says, well, what's he doing today? Oh, he's out in the garage playing with wood scraps, you know? And uh, it gives me a chance to keep on growing with my art, which for me is what it's all about.